Okay, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance being led by Mary Price Bush. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> okay, has not been lost upon us from several people that uh, this is an interesting setup compared to uh, normal or the new normal, but this is the old school setup right here uh, in the village offices for an evening meeting. So welcome back uh, to the old days, I guess, to a certain degree. And uh, as I search for my agenda, I'm going to steal yours, I guess. Uh, we have new business, and so I'm going to start. This is uh, easy. I don't need anything uh, to help me with this. Barbara Bartlett, who is uh, over here. Yeah, let me do it the right way here, uh, is uh, joining us. Uh, she is my appointment, and so I uh, do appoint her as treasurer for the village of all spot tonight and uh she's been already kind of working with us and training and uh looking at the systems with don traver and whatnot so uh congratulations to her and if you want to just introduce yourself a little bit to folks i know we had a post uh earlier today but uh where'd you come from what's your background anything like that you want to tell folks okay um barbara bartlett i just recently came from moreau um but i lived in Massachusetts for about 12 years. I was town clerk um, in Moreau. I was deputy treasurer, or deputy um, collector of taxes and deputy town clerk. Um, I was deputy treasurer in South Glens Falls before that. Um, and I live in Boston Spa now. Just moved. Oh. Thank you. There you go. Well, congratulations and uh, thank you uh, at the same time. Uh, it's great to have somebody here. Uh, as we always say, Julia can't be replaced, but uh, obviously you're bringing a, a full skill set of your own uh, to the table here, and we can't wait to see uh, you know, at your full potential what we can do here together in this village. So thank you very much. And uh, so at this point, we'll go to public comment on matters to be considered. We have the right under special meetings to cut this back instead of the general public comment out of respect for the idea that we have a special meeting on certain topics only. So anybody that would like to speak, let us know and we'll hand you over the microphone. You can just stand in place and it should be uh, fine based on your camera uh, pointed at you. Does anybody have any public comment to make? Anybody on Zoom have any public comment to make? Seeing none, let's get to business. Can I get a motion that Mayor Rossi, Village Clerk O'Connor, and Treasurer Barbara Bartlett be authorized to execute a corporate resolution regarding Adirondack Trust, similar to that approved during the October 24, 2022 meeting? Motion. Trustee Fundainsa? Second. Trustee Cormos, discussion. Obviously, we don't have the physical document, but we went through the back and forth on that, and obviously, there's a replacement in name. It includes the three names that are here. Correct. Okay. I... <laughs> Hello, Rolina and I, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All in favor? Uh, Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Can I get a motion that Barbara Bartlett be authorized to access all Village Bank accounts and that she be an authorized signatory and that the mayor be authorized to execute any documents related to this motion if necessary? Motion. Trustee Fundenza? I'll second. Trustee Baskin, discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Can I get a motion that Donald Traver be approved as interim deputy treasurer for the Village of Balsa Spa effective November 2nd, 2022. His role shall be in a part-time capacity and shall conclude on or about December 2nd, 2022. His pay shall not exceed $20 per hour. Trustee Fundenza. Second. Trustee Raymond, discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And just for FYI to the uh, audience, uh, Don is going to be great in making sure that transition continues uh, for both Tricia and for Barbara. And he's been uh, working really hard to do that for us. So we really and truly do appreciate everything he's been doing for us at, let's say, a very low rate of pay. Uh, so thanks to him. Can I get a motion to authorize the mayor to execute an agreement with EFPR Solutions LLC related to a change in accounting services after approval by the village attorney? as detailed by the attached draft agreement. The final agreement shall be modified before execution to change the amount associated towards services for data conversion and training to an amount, to an amount not to exceed $10,500 in the aggregate. Further, the board approves the move from accounting software from Edmonds to AccuFund cloud version with migration to begin as soon as practicable. Trustee Fundenza. Second. Trustee Raymond, discussion. 
Um, is the 10,500 the sum of the 1,500 plus the 9,000? It is. I don't know if Barbara's going to need 20 hours for three months, but one of the things that uh, Bob and I were talking, and it was funny because we had the conversation with Jonathan in Buffalo yesterday, was they are actually working with Jonathan to figure out the full migration strategy, one that could take all the detail and what it would cost. So the people that we talked to yesterday might actually be the ones that end up doing it uh, in the end. So we want to have the flexibility to do the right migration approach here. Uh, if they do all of the full migration, Barbara would still be needed to make sure it migrated correctly in parallel to admins and everything else. So she'll still have a job to do even if we go that route. It'll just save her 1,093 vouchers to re-enter or whatever we're up to today. And again, it, we need a little bit of flexibility in the amount to spend here, but with the notion of what those things are in that $10,500 being a little more topic-based. So you're still, as you explained earlier, um, going to sort of put in all of uh, 2020. The goal is to get 2022 2023's fiscal year in full into in AccuFund. Full. Yep. And then we'll retire Edmonds once we are certain that we're at that position. Retire it in terms of this year. Mm -hmm. We'll keep it for historical purposes oh. for that. I, I just have a question. You know, what, why don't you take that just so that it's close to you, the microphone okay. right there? Thank you. I, my question is, is um, obviously this is a significant bump, but there's a lot of moving parts here. Um, the only concern I would have is, are, is EFPR providing the exact same scope of services and deliverables as they have in past contracts? Well, actually, I talked to Bob Fox uh, since I sent you guys the email from earlier, and I also talked to Julia to get some definitiveness on what the past has been like. And this is a kind of moving parts scenario as they've delivered services. They've recognized things that they haven't done and things that they have been doing that they didn't anticipate, and that's where the shifting is occurring. For instance, with respect to budget, I asked Julia, how much uh, did Bob Fox really do with you or EFPR with respect to budget? The answer was virtually nothing. When it came to the question of with Bob Fox, you know, services that he thought were, were necessary that hadn't originally, let's say in the past versions been contemplated, working with Nate Panucci over at Teal Becker, he's been spending significant amounts of hours in that respect, probably around 40 hours which is in accounting standards pretty high uh, for that, but making sure that we have the answers getting to the auditors that we need that Julia might not have even had the ability to answer because of the complexities of some of those things that were coming at them. So Bob feels that we can wordsmith, that is a proposal, not a, a letter basically to be signed. We can wordsmith finer points if you've got a couple of things you want to change here and there in terms of the wording, but. He's warning to sort of maybe trust where they believe the hour should fall because of the experience they've had with this and what Julia verified today as I talked to her. But the difference is Julia did a number of, I don't know, two or three budgets and very familiar with, you know, the way we, we structure our budget and Barbara is going to be brand new and may need a little bit more, you know, assistance in it. And I understand their, you know, reluctance to attend meetings, although, you know, um, the budget workshops, but um, what I'm most concerned about, particularly since we're going to be transitioning from one software to another, is that the board gets the kind of information um, like we got last year, where we got a lot of detail, um, timely, you know, reports out of the system telling us, you know, what the past was like, what the estimates, you know, for the current year are, and then what's proposed. And it was more detailed than just, you know, equipment, personnel, CE, you know, it was further detail that, that we can get that on a timely basis. Well, I, we plan to start early, knowing the hurdles you're saying, you know, maybe a few weeks earlier than normal, just to start hashing out where to go with it and talking to the department heads and getting a better feel for it. We need communication as well, though, from you to say, hey, what do you want specifically or which departments do you want the most detail from? And we'll make sure we provide that in those cases too. So it'll be communication based more than anything else, I think. Well, the thing is that I found Julia's template for reporting for budget um, great mm -hmm. and very understandable. And I think that was that's set up exactly when I want to see this that year. was set up by EFPR, I believe, as yeah. the template in the first place. That's so that yeah. they actually did give that over and can provide that again, I'm yeah, sure, sure, for us. So yeah, that would be good. 
No. Anytime anyone, you know, any corporation I ever worked with changed software systems, it didn't go 100% smooth. It never does. <laughs> but at the same time, we are aware of the hurdles, like I said, and we we're going to work through these. And uh, Barbara's here, Trish is here, and Don is here as well to make sure that at least Edmonds is running uh, in real time the way it needs to with so us we're doing be business. Running two systems. Until we feel we're at a point where we don't need to run the two systems. And that might take about six weeks to do, or maybe eight weeks at the worst case, but that gets us away from water bill uh, time, which will be a very hectic period around here starting January 2nd, I guess, mm -hmm. give or take. So the idea here is get us started, get us started as soon as possible so that we can make the migration, make the move, check everything, make sure we're right, and then go. When, when does the current contract end? It already did. We're in a month to month. In fact, nothing, nothing's increased in two and a half years on their contract. So that's why you're seeing some of the bumps you're seeing right now. How much does it cost month to month? Uh, right now, twenty two thirty one a month. Uh, it's going up to thirty six. Was it? Got it somewhere here. If, uh, you don't. Yeah, yeah. Thirty six hundred per month. Yeah. Yeah. But again, that includes ADP payroll processing that yeah. currently costs us about ten to eleven thousand dollars. So, so I'm I'm all right with going to AccuFund. I called the town of Boston, and they have some system is very expensive and also microphone for him it's just and also, sorry guys also they're not crazy about it so, um, yeah i'm noticing a lot of that is <laughs> alta is like eh, yeah charlton right, was yeah, like yeah on theirs yep seems like a uh, pattern Mil um, milton has accufund uh, the server-based version and if we discover that we need to go to server base we will make that discussion happen later on but let's see right. if we like this in the first place before putting a major outlay out for something like that too and we can migrate i'm nice. sure that's acufund to acufund at that point I, I guess what i'm feeling is i'm fine voting on acufund and barbara of course um when i did see like yesterday all the things that were in the previous contracts that sounded like valuable services that are missing in the current one it did make me think why are we not having that in the current contract? That, that's not the intention. And so if you, we need to wordsmith this stuff so back can in. We, can, but Can we wait until we, that's in the contract and we see that? I would tell you, why don't we just stay in communication? And basically, it would take Carla's authorization before I could execute an agreement. So let's just work together and not have to wait for another meeting over the next few days. Well, can we finish see it, it. See it before, uh, yes, that's before what, you sign you can't, it? Yes, you can't say yes to something you don't see uh, you behind the scenes. Before you sign it. We can see it and yep. approve it before you. Yeah. But again, so this, so this is a motion for what exactly? A draft? Something? It it's was not the actual contract. The motion made was to authorize the mayor to execute an agreement with EFPR Solutions LLC related to a change in accounting services after approval by the village attorney as detailed by the dra uh, attached draft agreement. The final agreement shall be modified before execution to change the amount associated toward services for data conversion and training to an amount not to exceed $10,500 in the aggregate. Further, the board approves the move from accounting software from Edmonds to AccuFund right. Cloud version with migration to begin as soon as practicable. I mean, can we add language in there that the board will uh, approve the final version of the contract? Uh, how about how about the board uh, will add the a sentence? The board will uh, detail to the village attorney any concerns with the uh, contract before she approves it. Because I'm giving her the authorization to approve the wording of a contract she, that we now know it needs to be consistent with certain things you're looking for. But again, let's be careful about over budgeting our or over over houring budget stuff because we know they're not doing much with that and be considerate to the fact that they do have a lot of hours toward audit assistance now that they're doing so rest assured that that was an intentional change based on the reality of our I mean, I'm, relationship I'm all right with the price going up like it's going up for everything yep but i don't want less service which is what's indicated in the current contract compared to the previous so carla may not have an issue with the legality of the contract but she may not be as sensitive as to what's not in the contract. what what i'm going to do is make her the center of the changes and the feedback ultimately so she will basically be the mediator for us to make sure that everybody's concerns were addressed in the final version approved by village attorney and reviewed by the board fine fine so, well do you accept and do you accept well, the um i mean when it so we've paid or we are paying for this month november 
I, I, so, we'll, we'll have that discussion about when exactly this effectively starts, too, because obviously we're not going to hand over payroll services until January 1st. So that might be the actual start date. So this month is we're doing what we're doing. So would it be uh, would it interfere with the process for us to just have a regular vote on the final contract of upcoming board meeting? Well, I think part of the fee is an AccuFund built-in fee and the training and all that stuff. So that's why we want to get this underway. So I don't. Th I, I for Bob, Bob was very clear that it's wordsmithing is what he feels. So again, this isn't a. This is merely a proposal. This isn't the engagement letter. The engagement letters can contract. right. Yeah. Right. No, I just want to make sure that that Barbara and the rest of the right, staff so, gets the so, needed support so that you know. We go through the, the budget yeah, season. The, the, the word agreement should have said proposal. So if that's where you go with that. This is yeah. in a proposal, and then we will be able to uh, approve the contract before it's. You'll get, be able to indicate. We won't go approve. You're approving a contract to be executed after your review and uh, high sign to the village attorney so that you're authorizing something to be executed, but we're working behind the scenes to determine exactly what is signed. This way, we don't have to have another special meeting and we don't have to wait two more weeks for moving forward with this i know sean's kind of been on board with the idea get started soon because if you don't you're going to be wasting more time on this that you don't necessarily have yeah i mean i think the course of action is solid um again i i did notice that there seemed to be some pretty big disparaging differences between one contract and the next and as long as my understanding is, is that's just more of a um, you know, but Bob had Bob had said, and I think he misunderstood him that the first three it was actually four bullets, uh, two of them blended together, so that's why it looked like only three were things that they've done in the past. We continue doing the fourth one. He said was budget assistance, which is where he's been explaining. Look, we don't do that much of that for the village of Balsam Spa. Well, in the past, but maybe now we need more. I, I don't see it, Ben. I, I, like I said, it, we've got some smart folks here, and we've got some good support right now. I don't see us needing that much uh, going forward. I And you folks, uh, we have eight years between uh, you two, a uh, year and a half well, with we're you. Not doing that. <laughs> no, but you'll be reviewing, and you'll be asking for detail and what you're comfortable with. And then we'll turn to Bob I, I, and say, ha, hey, I how do we produce? I disagree. The thing is, will it be available? Yeah. And if we don't have the services in there, perhaps it won't be. Um, that's, that's my concern. Um, I would rather say include that in the scope of services that they would help with budget as needed or upon that, That's in there. That, that is in there. It's just not quantified to the same degree that... It was, I believe it's 20 hours is uh, give or take what they had uh, viewed possibly at one point budgeting. It's not even 20, it's like possibly five. I think the most he did was review what uh, Julia had done and said, yeah, looks good. That's it. It says assistance with preparation of annual budget. Yeah. And complying. So can we sort of direct Carla to put in the things that we highlight in an email to Carla in this contract, yeah. and that's the contract that Carla will review or yeah. will create? Well, they'll probably create one based on their boilerplate, but then we'll make sure that that stuff's in there and then right. can be changed mm -hmm. accordingly, okay? And Bob Bob heard what you said. Like I said, he, he's not right. disputing that stuff. He's saying that what he did was he took, and Tina's been on vacation at her son's wedding, uh, so that's probably why it didn't get to the specificity you're thinking here. Um, he said, he took another agreement where they were doing AccuFund at, or a transition AccuFund and basically started making changes from there. So that's why he didn't go base it off of the prior contract. He was basing it off of a contract that had the AccuFund change so that we understood where that was going. So, all right, as long as Carla doesn't approve the contract without us yep. putting to Carla what we think is needed in her response. Loud and clear, and we've got that in the uh, change motion. So, all in favor. Aye. 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 <laughs> Opposed. We have that in the motion somewhere? Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> accepted. <laughs> okay. And uh, opposed none, I'm assuming. So motion carries. Can I get a motion to approve a change of scope for the $5,000? Uh, $5,000 2022 Saratoga Arts regrant from a historic theme mural to the Let There Be Peace on Earth holiday banner and ornament program being executed by Arts and Sciences Creating Community Incorporated, ASCC, 
and authorize the mayor to execute agreements related to the grant change. Trustee Fundenza. I'll second. Trustee Baskin, discussion. A couple questions. Yep. The grant will be given to us or to us? Who will be the, the grant recipient? I will go to my grant professional on this uh, specific <laughs> grant. <laughs> Here we go. Um, my understanding is it would be because it was a um, village arts committee grant that it would go to the village. Still go to the village. Still go to the village. Um, and everything that's outlined um, is uh, just to give some explanation for those who might not be familiar. There's some people on uh, online. Uh, Saratoga Arts Grant was originally awarded to the village for the mural. Right. Um, and Arts Committee, the Boston Spa Arts Committee, has done a lot of work to try to figure out whether they can do the mural or not. And it's just not really possible this year. Um, and not a good location not available outside it's I mean Ben and I sat through a lot of that and um, what the committee had decided was that they instead of giving the money back to Saratoga Arts which would be a shame to lose five thousand dollars they decided that it would be a good idea to give it to the uh, let their peace on earth um, holiday banner and uh, ornament program sorry uh, and uh, we got some great information from Mark Black and then also the uh, the required breakdown um, and it's you know basically it's uh, it's a good program it's like and you know you had concerns that you wished it were for something permanent but this is such got such a high engagement so I think it'll benefit the community considerably and so. the reason you know primarily is it has to be finished by the end of the year yes yeah, that's the concern yeah 2022 money right? yes yeah and um you know I I think as far as like arts has a different idea maybe to approach the uh, the mural for next year so they're gonna go for it next year um we just don't want to lose this funds and not have it benefit our community so okay. and one question i saw the details mm -hmm. in here about you know how many i think it's 64 banners and 375 ornaments right is that I think those oh, 370 60 and this I think there were two different numbers but anyway close on that order um and that's you know for a total of the 7500 um you know we hope they'll approve this but they might not right we got to get in and see I mean yeah but I mean so my question really to you is if it doesn't happen if this doesn't happen how does it change the the program or well, doesn't well, or do you get money from others to fill in you know because you're saying for 7500 this is well they're expanding the scope this based is, on the possibility of exactly. getting 5000 so the scope the just program. doesn't expand at that point if that's well the i didn't case. know what the could you tell me what the original scope was with our 2500 the original scope was 32 banners there was no original scope it was just a program oh, right. in general right. well but your plans were half the number of banners you're doubling the number of banners basically yes okay that's the, the ornaments goal. about the same that's or? The goal. Yeah, we've doubled. you doubled the ornaments also yes okay i just just want to understand you know if let's say you don't get the money and you it, unless you know it's not much time to raise money if you can't make up the difference you'll do less banners and less ornaments. Well, that's why we're here now doing this instead of waiting two more weeks again, because it's good for them to know. It's good for Saratoga Arts to know. They're in a 2023 rundown right now. And so yeah, it's not fair no, to them I to just, push them into looking at a 2022 yeah. now, or at least at that point. No, I well, just wanted to change have, have the change in the scope? possibility here of, since if he does get the grant, that doubles the original amount. So that we could refund the twenty five hundred dollars. You can't. Back to fund. You can't utilize grant money for already done stuff, and so essentially that was already contributed toward something that's gotten done or is in the process of getting done. So you can't use the grant to fill in that blank. You've so you use it to expand it. Dollars? Excuse me. So what? Does he use the complete twenty five hundred dollars? Well, first of all, it's not key. It's the not for profit. Okay. Not Second of all. We're in a contract with you for $2,500 for the Christmas program. Oh, I, I understand that, but now you've got double that amount mm -hmm. in this grant, potentially. And we're going to expand the program. Well, yeah, well, why would we just naturally expand the program rather than say, 
maybe I can refund the village who obviously needs it for lots of things, valuable infrastructure studies, very, very, very important things that have Surely, but like Saratoga yes. Arts in particular. Let's let, let's let the trustees uh, speak. So Saratoga this point. Arts yeah. does not like you using this grant to refund a village for monies they've already well, I, paid I understand out. that, but- It would be simple, denied. What would have happened with the $5,000 if it wasn't there? You would have to fundraise, correct? But they're not going, they weren't going to expand the scope of this until this possibility came along. They're stepping in and giving us the ability to utilize $5,000 that I, I, we- I, okay, okay, there's a simple math equation here that's not, not being used. If you double the, the amount and you had $2,500 allocated, that means $5,000 to double the scope. So I, that's just math. Well, there's a, a <laughs> numbers breakdown, and I think all the numbers provided were, were reasonable. I understand, which that's completely irrelevant. No, it's not it, irrelevant, <laughs> sir. If you ask for twenty five hundred dollars, and now you have five thousand, and you double the scope, the five thousand should cover it. It's not quite how so that's breaking the, down. If you looked at how they filled out the information, <laughs> the unless you're adding things besides just doubling the scope. So, so are you to the, can you can you specifically highlight what you might have a problem with it uh, all i'm saying is is i don't understand when the scope is going to be doubled and the budget is going to be doubled because that's five thousand from twenty five hundred why do we need seventy five hundred because I, I don't understand well for one thing are you, basically what you're volunteering is to give twenty five hundred dollars of the grant back because you can't give the twenty five hundred dollars of grant money toward twenty five hundred dollars provided by the it, village so are you looking to give back money grant. are you looking to give back grant money i'm not looking back grant money then approve this as is because uh, that's the situation the money we allocated isn't saratoga grant money it's village money no it's it's Zero grant money because insofar as if we do not use it and we just sit on it and don't give it back, then we get no. We then <laughs> we get the then we we get no. No, no, no. no I think you have. I think you have a Did slight we, disconnect here, Sean. Allocate twenty five hundred dollars that isn't Saratoga grant money. Yes or no? I'm sorry. Ask that one more time. We allocated twenty five hundred dollars to holiday decorations. Yeah. That wasn't part of this grant. Well, holiday program. A holiday program. Right. Just one. This is well, just hold on, hold on. He's on a roll, so let's let him finish. <laughs> I just want one clarify. Has has money already been spent? Yeah. Yes. How much? We gave them ninety percent of the contract as was advised to, with a ten percent retainage, as is normal. Please and provide estimates of what has been spent out of this twenty five hundred dollars, and I'll vote on it. So it's what I asked for. You've you've asked for a third party who's providing a program that was approved to provide spending figures now when they already have information on this grant that's showing the costs of certain things uh, that they may be in excess of what well was... they expanded the original scope so every all the numbers going to go up obviously what i'm saying is if you had five thousand dollars and you were given twenty five hundred and you doubled the scope that would mean you but, need $2,500, but, $5,000. But I, I understand where you're going with it, but here's, here, he can, can I finish spent. my statement I was about to well, say? Well, I'm not dumb, Frank. So well, you've been, done, you've been going and going, I mean, Sean. Sean, come on. But I don't have a time limit either. So let me just finish my statement. There seems to be a disconnect that the $2,500 is not grant money. That was money allocated by the village. Now, maybe he had spent part of it. What were you going to do to come up with the rest of the money? I assume 2,500 was insufficient. Yes, exactly. There you go. Right. So you were going to fundraise, correct? Correct. So you could still do that and reimburse the village? No. We're in a contract. You are your contract, Sean. Are you, gonna, are you going to default on your contract? No. What I'm saying is Mark could since no, he's no, receiving no, this. No, 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 ask, ask could say, well, now that we've received this $5,000 grant, mm -hmm. if they receive it, 
we can refund the twenty five hundred back if you're, we don't need it. But you're this is twice of what we asked you're for. missing the picture of the grant itself. You have three choices, and I've told you this in email. And this is my time now to talk, and you're not going to interrupt. Thank you. Our three choices are to uh, repurpose it, give it back or do nothing and not get any 2023 money from Saratoga Arts. Those are the three options. And so they stepped up and said, we have ready, willing and able project or a ready, willing and able project to basically expansion of scope of uh, their prior project that can utilize the 5,000. Went to the Committee on the Arts. Committee on the Arts said, absolutely, because our banner, our mural program is not gonna happen this year. We are happy to go back and reapply for a mural program of a different sort that they can execute next year for 2023 money. And have assured them that we're going to go that route for them with the village's $5,000 application ability next year, for this year, for next year. Okay, hold. I know you're teaming a uh, pipe in here, but so, we have two options again, basically default or give it back if you were doing what you're suggesting here, because we cannot use $2,500 of this to just replace village money. That's not allowed. It's not. And so for accounting purposes and for legality purposes, we basically have to tell them, well, we have to give back $2,500 because that's the way it goes. So no matter what, no matter what, the village is $2,500 is already done. There's nothing we can do about that with respect to whether or not this grant money gets pushed over to them or not. So do you want a larger program or do you want to sit on this principle of give it back, give it back when we know that they were fundraising anyway and the scope's increasing here? That's where we're at. And that we've had a lot of conversations to get to that point, Sean, to understand that, to figure out how we can maximize money better for next year's arts programs. They are thrilled to work with us as long as we just get this thing resolved and helping us become fiscal sponsors for even more than the $5,000. They're doing some great work with us. Uh, thanks to Louise and to May over in Saratoga Arts. Thanks again to Carla for building that bridge. We're trying to get this year settled so we can get bigger and better things for next year moving for the entirety. I don't know if you saw the release from the Committee on the Arts about uh, next year getting color artists and everything else. I mean, that's the kind of stuff now we're able to do because of these conversations and the ability to move this forward. Your turn. That's, that's fine. I'm ready to vote on it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Abstain. Oh, I wanted to say something before. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Right. Hey, no, no. Um, you were saying so quiet. Sorry. Right. <laughs> well, but, uh, vote, there is no vote currently. Sorry. sorry. I'm yep. sorry. So I just, for the public, um, it says there's going to be 650 artists. Where do you go to get your artists? Like on, on here, yeah. on the, on the so, arts. Yeah, go ahead. Like what organizations are you going to? Speak loud for me, uh, Mark. Oh, so this can get. Oh, okay, we go to um, uh, Saratoga Bridges, Girl Scouts, the Cub Scouts, uh, who else? the homeschool community, elementary school, St. Mary's, um, someone else that we um, oh the 4-H clubs are doing it so some of the the banners we're doing we're actually okay um each banner <coughs> is separated and so left it you know front and back and so twice as many kids are making one banner so basically so that's why there are so there are 62 banners there will be 62 banners which is 120 sides or four hundred twenty four thank you uh kids involved in that and then uh the ornaments are the same way they're double sided some people got uh sewn together already um some people will get singles one question uh, it says in here the ornaments well the kids can take their ornament at the end what about the banners really nasty after nobody ever wants them the they're, 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 they're in the elements yeah they're really nasty no one wants the banners here. <laughs> Nobody wants to I mean, if they, if they absolutely wanted one, you would, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. that's not really the issue, yeah. No, they're really they don't weather well, they're just, if they go through the whole winter between the ice, the snow, the salt, they don't weather well. Yeah. The ornaments come down sooner. Well, yeah. they're still nice. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to approve this, but I would really like to see something that would last longer, that maybe we could use. No, the idea is to keep kids making more stuff. 
That, that's that's actually one of the passions with uh, I'll say the birdhouse program. I was talking to Doug Ford about that. The idea to keep kids involved, to keep getting them to do the kits or whatnot out there. That that's the excitement about it. That hey, you didn't get to do it last year, but look, you can take part in the next year thing. So I, I, I see where they're going with that. And that that was from Doug, you know. From next year, Liz, I think yeah. we can really try to focus on that too with the arts committee um as far as saratoga arts community engagement community arts projects are like definitely part of what they want to fund so um at least i think that's a really positive thing we can do for this please rest assured that we will go above and beyond as we always have and give you a fabulous christmas program okay holiday it's holiday, <laughs> holiday. Right. Right. It's holiday he's right Okay, all in favor, do you want to go uh, roll call? Uh, I mean, if you're going to abstain and want to be known I'm as- I'm going to abstain again. Okay, so uh, I, Madam Clerk, I'll do it on your uh, behalf. Trustee Raymond? Staying. Trustee Cormos? Yes. Trustee Baskin? Yeah. Trustee Fundenza? Yes. Mayor votes yes, four to zero, uh, though technically four to one in the recording of it, it carries. That's just, they forced us to record it as a no vote, oh, as an abstain, just so you know. That wasn't to oh, spite you on that. Thank you. Can I get a motion? Uh, I'll explain why this is here in a second. Can I get a motion that the position of DPW mechanic be filled by Tyler Sherman at an hourly rate of $23 per hour? I'll make that motion. Trustee Cormos, Trustee Raymond, here because he just, uh, uh, just accepted, we want to get him started instead of waiting the two weeks if possible and get his two-week notice period going, basically, at that point. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Can I get a motion that the meeting be adjourned at? Good luck. I think so. Seven thirty-six p.m. Like Trustee Baskin. Trustee Fundain said discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Aye. And good night. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there you go.